What's up, everyone, and welcome back to another wonderful day. You have a vocab quiz today. Take a few minutes, get on over to the classroom, take that vocab quiz. We are also going to be studying a little bit more for the Things Fall Apart. Obviously, you have got the crossword puzzle. I'm going to upload the answers to that at some point today so you can study for the quiz tomorrow. We are also going to be returning to those character slides, so please make sure that those are filled out to the best of your abilities. All of the characters that we know, I want you to know the characters in and out. Let's also talk about the text a little bit. What's the point of the text for us as readers? Well, at this point, we are reading the text and we should be paying attention to the culture. We should be paying attention to masculinity. We should be taking a look at fatherhood. We should be looking at family and what does it mean to be part of a family and make up a family and what are the duties and roles of that, right? For masculinity and fatherhood, Okonkwo and how he is very much so just broken because of the way that he and his father interacted with each other and what, what the consequences of his father being too lazy and too much on the free and enjoyed life. <gasps> oh, I, oh. My apologies, my goodness. But what are those things? What, is, what does that mean? We also need to be considerate of the fact of uh, femininity and masculinity appearing in ways where because of Okonkwo's relationship to his dad, his dad was called Agbala for a little while, um, which meant woman. It's another term for woman. Okonkwo had this disdain for women. And he's terrified of showing femininity or any sort of weakness or emotion at all, which is one of the reasons that he beats his wives relentlessly, his kids sometimes. That's one of the reasons that we see him as such a strong and almost, well not almost, to an absolute fault, uh, his entire identity being wrapped up in being the most manly man he can be. Obviously, he still has faults with that, too besides the fact that that in of itself is a misfortune of his. We also need to pay attention and think about how Okonkwo himself kind of is a representation of an extreme, right? He is not a representation of all peoples from the Western African cultures pre-colonialism, right? That's kind of what we're trying to embody is a pre-colonial idea of Western African culture. No, Okonkwo is an extreme interpretation of those values and the dangers of those. We have stories all the time in our society and in our culture where that is just kind of the trope, right? Is we show people at their most extreme and we show how they can change or the dangers of falling into those extremes. So... My challenge for you is to just pay attention to those moments as we continue reading. Of course, a lot of those are pointed out through the reading guides. Please take a look at those. Take your vocab quiz today. Check out those character slides. Check out the, an the answers for the crossword if you've not completed it yet. And just feel free to have those answers. Have an amazing rest of your day, and I'll see you all tomorrow.